okay so uh, we generated this name and now i want to uh, first move this into the our project and then i want to add this into the database so how we can move this into the project so here you need to call the file object and then you need to call the store right so let me also view it from there that it's calling the store yes and then you need to specify your path here so here i'm going to define the public path so basically this public path will return the public folder of our application and here i want to store my image right so let me uh, we can create the directory here or if you don't want to create this it will automatically create it so here i want to add this public path and let me add this path at the out of this helper so image path and here i'm going to generate the uh, first public path and then i want to concat with the slash uh, in the public i want to create the uh, images and uh, or we can say that database images and then in the images i want to create a post directory and in the post i want to store this out right so here i'm mentioning this uh, image slash uh, image path so this one uh, this will return the uh, public path and this will also concat with this image slash post so let me dd this out so how it's returning the image path so let's type image path save this one and let's get refresh okay it's still loading and it says as syntax so let me verify it that what's the syntax mistake okay unexpected token so maybe it's uh, due to slashes i'm not sure oh uh, it's displaying due to like this one let's give it a refresh and yes now it's generating the cms slash public slash image slash post great and uh, now i want to store this image so let's go here and call this file slash store and in the store just pass the image path right so this uh, uh, this image will be stored into this path and this uh, whenever this image is saved i want to also store this into the database right so now let's go here and you need to add a gallery because we are storing our images into the gallery and then here we need to call the create method and in the create i'm going to uh, pass the image here and image value would be the file name right i'm going to pass the file name here and then this image whenever this gallery will be uh, gallery image will be created so this will uh, i'm going to pass this into the variable so this is the instance of the gallery whenever image is created so i'm going to get the id from this instances so here let's uh, uncomment this out so basically i'm going to get its id here so here i'm going to mention the gallery id and then you need to specify here gallery and then call the id so this will pull the id from this object uh, this object right and i'm storing this into the database and here i'm going to after this uh, successful i'm going to store this into the database and after this i'm going to return success i want to also show you that how you can uh, prevent it from if one record is created you don't uh, one record is not created you don't want to create the other one I will do this in a minute so let's upload this one and let's take eye on this public directory so here this directory will be created in a minute it's images right so let's wait and uh, it says that unable to create a directory in the public slash head so let's wait okay create a directory able to create a directory i think maybe it's so uh, filling due to caching so let me insert this out so except 
session boot content failed and yes yes it's doing due to and yes it's uh, happening due to caching issue so let's go to your project and clear your project cache here i'm going to create php artisan config gone let me type it correctly config clear okay let me charge my pc okay so configuration is clear so then i'm going to execute php artisan cache clear php artisan route clear php artisan view clear so these are commands used to clear your caches uh, views and stuff like that so i cleared all of the ones to prevent this issue so slash create okay let's so uh, choose some fake data choose some file choose some file and uh, why i'm uh, whenever i'm adding something here by typing it then it's going to detect this out otherwise it's not detecting yes yeah, so also let me find some other solution okay so let me <clears throat> us to get the exact uh, error so how i can get the exact error so let's uh, cut down from there and add this into the dry catch block add this into the dry and here catch this out so i'm going to add the main exception exception and here i'm going to dd the exception get message okay so now let's run it again it's going to throw executive and able to create a directory it's same slash images slash post okay uh, public uh, slash images slash post why it's not to uh, able to create this directory so let me create this manually images and in the images i'm going to create a uh, post directory and let's retry it again so it's pretty same but to get white so adding this maybe it's happening due to this slash right save this one and let's get refresh and it's still same we remove this slash Let me fix the issue and coming back.
okay guys so i think i need to oh i'm creating this full directory so let's go to the project here i pass this public path and here i'm passing this store right so it means that i'm going to telling this that create this uh, public path like it's going to create e slash laravel these folders and then it's it's basically generating inside this here e slash laravel and this thing right so i don't want to add like this so here i'm going to just to add uh, public slash uh, images and that's it so now it's going to create this out so now let's get refresh and yes it's returning success so it means that our image is created and our image is stored here in our project and uh, it's also going to stored in the database of images post and our post uh, don't have any image so we pass this image for this one and our image is not stored weird stuff so let me uh, verify that why it's not stored and uh, let's go to the gallery id what's the name of the thing so it's this one image dot uh, uh, transparent image dot png and why it's not to uh, storing here so we are getting this so uh, request image run path it's good it's good why it's not to uh, creating this out so let me delete this directory and uh, in the public there is uh, no other directory right public slash image slash post so let's give it a try again so here i'm going to call this uh, create okay let's uh, fake fill some data choose some file choose some fill data manually because it's not accepting when we are using this fake filler chrome extension and success so let's take eye on this in the public directory there is no directory is created right so we are basically storing the image path here so let me go there why it's not uh, working for us uh, request file image and then it's calling the store public slash images and then that's going to store the image why it's not storing hmm, weird stuff so uh, let me call this move method and then pause public path and then we need to specify its image name okay i'm going to let me uh, copy this out so here basically i'm going to use this uh, let me add the path at the top public path and the path is there go there public path we need to add the public path and inside the public path i need to add this one so here i'm going to add this similar like uh, we did this previously i'm going to use this different method it's not working for me that's why i'm using different one right so just remove this public in the public i want to in this public I return public and this images slash post and this one is our path and here i'm going to you call this store uh, not store i'm going to call this move right so basically i'm calling this uh, request file so that's why i stored this into the variable and i'm calling this on this uh, calling this directly on the move and uh, then i need to uh, pass the name of image so what's the name so our name would be file name right save this one and let's get uh, oh i'm not going to do this here to create a new project again new post again okay let's use this file and we are now uh, uploading this cdl transparent image again and again but they are unique why because we are adding the time here uh, time here to generate the unique name and yes images directory is added and post directory is added and our image is there right so our cdl logo is there and our image is uploaded here and it's also stored in the gallery table so there are three images 
okay great and we also successfully saved our po our post here so this one is linked with the third one which we uploaded right now so in this way we can store our post and image separately and we can locate them with the foreign key relation so our uh, i think video size is going bigger because we already um, took a lot of time on this one so in the next video i'm going to uh, uh, throw any sessions here and then i'm going to uh, display this session on the web page so basically i'm going to do this here right so how you can generate the session so just type oh, session and then you can use uh, port session or flash so i always use flash so you can also use this flash so flash is uh, only display for one time whenever you refresh the page it will lost otherwise you need to kill your session manually so that's why i'm going to call this like alert to success and first parameter would be the key of your session and then second would be the value so here you can call post to created successfully right post created successfully and then after this i want to redirect this on the uh, on where i want to redirect this on the with the help of two route which is added in, uh, new in the laravel 9 so basically i want to add this on the post dot index right oops route and uh, post dot index where we are going to display all of our posts for now there is nothing so it will display and display us an empty page right so i'm going to uh, now use this session where I can use this jQuery toast or I can use the um, bootstrap model right so it's totally upon you which uh, um, I'm going to do this with the jQuery toast so let me uh, throw this jQuery toast and then I'm going to uh, display them into the project so first let me find the jQuery CDN so I will provide the CDN to you and then I'm, I will shoot this in the next video where I will uh, show the jQuery toast. So I will meet you in the next one. Bye bye.